Hello, I'm Tom Harris with today's Climate Change Minute. The climate debate is crucially important. At stake are billions of dollars, millions of jobs, and if people like Dr. David Suzuki are right, the fate of humanity itself. Consequently, we need all parties in the discussion to behave responsibly. Sadly, the climate debate is now poisoned by ad hominem attacks and other logical fallacies. Suzuki wrote about the problem of personal attacks in the climate debate, but then went on to do the same thing himself, referring to those of us who disagree with him as anti-science shills and climate change deniers. This approach is often used to encourage readers to equate climate skeptics with Holocaust deniers and so discount what they are saying. But making an analogy, even indirectly, between denial of the Holocaust and questioning the causes of climate change is irrational. The former was a horrific event that is part of established history, while the latter concerns one of the most complex sciences ever tackled. As shown by the Climate Change Reconsidered reports, practically every one of Suzuki's points that he brings up are seriously contested by leading climate experts. Regardless, no scientist on either side of the issue actually denies climate change. They know that the only constant about climate is change. It's merely the causes of these changes that are, very legitimately, being questioned. To learn more about this and other topics in climate change, please visit icsc-canada.com.